Hello Aries, welcome to the Heart Space. Thank you so much for being here with me. This is Andrea coming to you with a reading, monthly reading for you. This will be for the month of June. Aries, Sun, Rising and Venus. I received a couple of messages while I was channeling your energy. I heard you have to let the shoe drop. There is something uh, inevitable that needs to happen in the near future and that you have to allow it to happen. The next message that I received is that there was a karmic uh, debt that you had to work through in this lifetime and now you are being released of it. You've done the work, you went through some kind of shadow work and you've successfully completed it. It looks like it has something to do with money though. Maybe money never came to you easily. Maybe you still have a hard time manifesting money or whatever money is coming into your life, you have to quickly let it go. You, uh, in the past, were struggling with money in some way or another, with your financials, because I saw the Nine of Pentacles in uh, in my mind's eye while I was uh, hearing about this, this debt, this karmic debt. So. I'm using the shaman's dream for you today. I want to get a couple of overall energies and I want to see what spirit needs to tell you for the month of June. Okay, just shuffle one more time and then we'll get into it. Hope everybody's doing well. Okay, thank you so much, pretty guys. What do we have for Aries? Lost compass, number 35. Getting back to integrity. I'm getting that you were a bit lost in the recent past. You were trying to find your true north. Getting back to integrity. Maybe you had to sacrifice a lot of things throughout your lifetime. And now it's time for you to come back to self. To live in your truth and to live with integrity. Let's see anything else for you guys. So we have 61, well sung, resonating. Maybe you've been an outsider since your childhood. Things are hard to resonate with when it comes about you know, your social group or when it comes about you know your family, the people around you. That's what I'm getting right now. 49, sky writing, the fates. The fates are opening up to you. I'm getting this big release. Something is being burned away. And because you are ready to shed and to release this karmic debt, I'm getting that there's an inevitable um, situation that's going to occur in your life. And it's going to strip away the people that might wear too many masks in your life. And that's something that you have to allow it to happen. It's inevitable. That's what I'm getting. Anything else for you guys? Hmm. Talking about masks, many masks, the authentic self, yes. Some people are shallow around you, Aries. And because this karmic debt has been released, now you can see them clearly. Now you can see who's wearing the masks in your life. In the hand, the universe is your partner. Yes. You are co-creating with spirit during this time. You have the future in your hands, I heard. You have the light. You can just grab it. Okay, and let's see. What's the next one? Me Talks. Oh, I love this card. Repairing the body, mind, and spirit. It's time for a detox. It's time for a Me Talks. It's number 1139. It's time for self-care, Aries. Okay. I heard uh, your relationship with money is going to change dramatically. I want to read a couple of paragraphs from the Lost Compass, which seems the most relevant energy right now, 35.
Getting back to integrity, finding the way home, trusting intuition. When the last compass appears, it is a sign that you need to find your way back home, back to your source and center, relying on your intuition to arrive there. Be wary of the signs telling you to turn here or there or to avoid this or that person or situation because the outward indicators are not reliable right now. Be careful not to believe all the advice you are receiving. Rely instead on your innate sense of direction and guidance and use your homing instinct to lead you through. The last compass has come to show you that you need to find new counselors. You are not getting the mentoring you need for your success. Who is the who is that person you are looking up to as a model for what it means to be a woman or man? Trash that ideal. Tear up the picture you carry in your mind. You are meant to be you, not the best copy of your dearest friend. Make this your mantra. Love me or leave me. Ooh. The last compass is a blessing in disguise. Because you sometimes have to lose your bearing and find yourself afresh to discover a new course. True north never changes, so reset your way to your heart compass and trust your deepest feelings even when others do not support them. Remember that you are not lost. You simply do not know where you are going right now. Lost is a state of mind. Not knowing where you are going is an opportunity to find a way to a new path. Wow, that's, that's pretty powerful. You are not lost, Aries. You're going to have several options, several pathways. But as I said in the channel message, the shoe needs to drop. These masks, the shallow people that you may be surround yourself with, the people that are not in your life to support you or to help you grow, those need to shatter because this karmic debt, it's done and over with. And now a new path, new revelations I heard, new epiphanies are showing up to you. So you can find your true north, so you can live with integrity. Okay, let's jump into your spread. I'm using the witch tarot deck. Let's see, what's the most important energy for the month of June for Aries, please, for your guides? Thank you. For Aries, please. Thank you so much. Page of Cups. I heard being gentle with yourself. Page of Cups. It's a small offer of love. It's a messenger. It's an idea. I'm getting that somebody is offering too little and it's too late. Just for some of you, okay? If this doesn't resonate with you or just some of the information, please uh, keep what resonates and leave the rest. Do not try to make it fit, okay? It's a general reading after all and so I'm trying to... Uh, share all the information and all the downloads that Spirit Guides want uh, you to hear. I want you to use your discernment though, okay? Thank you. What's the challenge? I'll clarify this card. What's the challenge, Spirit Guides, for Aries? Six of Wands. Reaching your reward level. Somebody's name starts with V. Victor. Veronica, uh, Vid, I heard. The road was repaired, I heard. Now you are on your way to your six of wands. But there's one thing you have to do. Release yourself from any shallow energies, from any toxic energies you are still holding on in this lifetime. See, your relationships are really highlighted in this uh, energy. Two of Cups. Yeah, I didn't ask the question, but yes, this has everything to do with your relationships and with what kind of people you are surrounding yourself with. What's in the shadows, Spirit Guides? What's in the shadows? Five of Wands and the Wheel. Somebody's trying to block 
your wheel of fortune, your fortune here. A friend, a group of friends, family members. It, again, it's different for everybody. Hmm. Okay, what's coming to an end? The hermit and the lovers. Choosing to go on a spiritual path. Choosing to find your compass. Choosing to find your true north. Gemini energy. There might be a Gemini surrounding you. What's crowning this energy, spirit guides? What's crowning this energy? Thank you. Hmm. Eight, eight. Eight of pentacles. Eight of wands. And king of swords. Doors are opening up to you now. Uh, if you have started working on a major project in the recent past, that will take off. I'm getting like a bunch of windows opening right now, a bunch of doors opening. Spirit guides are definitely co-creating with you and they are going to open a lot of options. They're going to open a lot of doors for you in the future. King of Swords, Libra, Gemini or Aquarius. You have to speak your truth. You have to let the shoe drop. What's coming? Five of Pentacles and the Empress. There might be a Taurus in your life that you will release in the near future. I don't know why I'm getting a negative vibe from the Empress right now. Usually the Empress is somebody that you can trust on, you can confide in. Somebody fertile, somebody mature and wise. Right now this tells me that this Taurus or, or Earth sign, Capricorn or Virgo, they have been sucking away your energy, your luck, and that has to come to an end. You might have had a female in your life that you kept giving your money to for one reason or another. You were not able to put money into your savings account and so on something was emptying your well i heard what aries is not seeing devil nine of pentacles and queen of cups yeah i was uh, seeing this nine of pentacles in my mind's eye and it came as the the energy that you're not seeing right now and it's followed by the devil a Capricorn energy but what I'm getting here is that whoever was chaining you and not allowing you to grow to manifest to bring in abundance it's now over with for some of you there's two people here that contributed to um, to you not being able to manifest and bring in abundance can be a water sign or a Capricorn external factors for Aries please Two of Wands and Seven of Wands. See the Seven of Wands, there was something in the way of you taking decisions for your own good, of you taking a leap of faith towards your Three of Wands, which is expansion, travel. Let's keep going and we'll clarify these energies, okay? Hopes and fears for Aries. Yeah, you will expand. You will open up to growth, you will stand in your truth. The ships are going to come into your life, which is going to bring a lot of uh, wealth, independence, I heard, and prosperity. The sun, <laughs> most beautiful card. In the original tarot, there's uh, Apollo here. Apollo is uh, the god of music, healing, truth, and light. And that's you. You're going to live in your truth. You're going to heal all parts of yourself. And I need you to spend a lot of time with yourself. Self-care, it's extremely important. Likely outcome. Likely outcome. 
Page of Wands, Five of Cups. Yes, it's okay to move away from all those empty cups. Yes, it's okay to start fresh. Page of Wands, it's a young energy, but it's somebody that has a lot of drive and passion into going and exploring, exploring uh, their capabilities, exploring their skills, exploring the world. I'll get one more. One more, please. <laughs> the tower, yes. Let the shoe drop. Let the inevitable happen. Let's clarify this uh, page of cups. If this resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. Let me know in the comment box down below. What is your story? I would love to know that. Temperance, Sagittarius energy for the page of cups. Wow. The hangman, the hierophant. Four of Cups. I heard confusion is a thing of the past. Uh, there are some societal norms still uh, pulling at you during this time, especially in the month of June. You have to release that. You know what you have to do. You know what cup you have to choose. Put all the love in yourself. You might have a lot of water in your chart. The Hierophant, it's Taurus energy and another Sagittarius. You might be dealing with a Sagittarius and if that's the case, that Sagittarius has to go. You have to take that cup and pour it within yourself. Okay, what is coming? I want to see this Five of Pentacles and the Empress. Why the Five of Pentacles and the Empress for you guys? The High Priestess. Yeah, you're psychic for whoever I'm reading this. Uh, you feel within yourself there's something wrong with this person in your life. Uh, there's something not gelling here. Four of Swords and Three of Cups. Mm -hmm. The answers will come in the near future. You can be sure of that. Um, it's going to come while you're spending time with yourself, meditating, sleeping, dreams. I'm getting dreams right now. I'm also getting the pomegranate uh, that's depicted here. It's maybe it's uh, somebody's uh, favorite fruit or you are eating it right now. That's a confirmation then for you. Can you tell us more about Page of Wands, Five of Cups and the Tower? Anything else that you need to know, Spirit Guy? Devil again. Knight of Cups. Seven of Cups. Yeah, somebody's trying to keep you confused here, Aries. Somebody's trying to sell you some lies. Somebody's trying to keep you stuck in this old cycle. Look at that, the world. This is a new cycle. This is an accomplishment energy. This is victory. No, it's, it's too little and too late. That's what I'm getting. Whoever is coming to offer you something or to say, hey, now you know, we can make this happen or I can help you. I can be a better friend. And you have an inkling and you know that this person is no good. You have to distance yourself from that person, okay? It can be Capricorn, though, no, because you have the, to uh, the devil and the world, which is a Capricorn card as well. Justice for once. Justice will prevail. Ah, by the way, uh, I reached a thousand subscribers in, I would say, in a pretty short time. Without you, I wouldn't have done it. And so I appreciate you so very much because I'm so grateful. I'm going to give away two personal readings in the next connective, in the next collective reading. If you're interested in that, please make sure you are subscribed and... Uh, yeah, just check out the next collective reading, which I'm going to post pretty soon. Okay, for Aries. For Aries. Make plans and focus. Yes, focus on yourself. 
focus on your self-care. Focus on your abundance. You've done enough for other people. Drum. Dream and journey. Yes, I'm getting that. Um, a lot of downloads information are going to come in your dreams. Please keep a dream journal. Okay. Unleash the wild within. Well, we know that uh, Aries... It's a fire sign, extremely passionate, extremely driven, extremely wild. You better unleash that. <laughs> and spirit facts, trust your talents in changing times. Yes, there are big shifts going that are going to occur in your life. Aries, let them, let it unfold. Let the shoe drop. That's what I keep hearing. And in closing, let's get a couple of cards uh, from my mixed deck here. The Goddess Guidance and uh, the Archangels. What's the message? What's the guidance for my beautiful Aries? Thank you so much for you guys. Sensitivity. Archangel Haniel, you are extra sensitive to, to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings. Always honor yourself and your feelings. And if you're extra sensitive and you are feeling uncomfortable regarding some situations that need to be dealt with, all you have to do is honor your feelings and run with it. Let's see what else we have here. The High Priestess again. You have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teaching. You've been through a lot, Aries, I'm getting. You had this major karmic debt that has been released, but you've suffered a lot throughout this period. Your journey is now getting easier. Your life now is getting easier. You will see. Purification. It's time for a cleansing detoxification of your body and mind. Once again. Ooh. Okay. If you have plans to detox. Okay. If you have plans to eat healthier. If you have plans to work out more. Please do so. And go outside. You have been indoors too long. Go outside and get some fresh air. Okay. So it is about spending some more time in nature and connecting with Mother Gaia. Wow. Okay. That flew. Life review. Okay. Archangel Jeremiel. Take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. This gives me the world energy. There's a life review. There's a completion of a cycle. You are resolving a lot of your uh, traumas and wounds and the karmic debts in this lifetime. And I'm telling you, Aries, whatever you're going through, it's a blessing in disguise. Thank you so much, Aries. Have a beautiful June. Hope to see you back here at the Heart Space. Know that I love and appreciate you so much. Bye-bye.